For this video I wanted to talk a bit about warm-ups and getting used to playing on gut strings with a Baroque bow. The bow is the most important tool we have for being expressive on a Baroque instrument, so it's really important to take the time to warm up and really make sure that you feel like you have complete control over your bow strokes. There are a lot of warm-ups you can implement into scales that are similar bow patterns that you'll see in a lot of your repertoire. By taking the time to do these bow strokes slowly on scales first, you're going to be that much more equipped when you get to approach these rhythms in repertoire. The Baroque bow has certain articulations already built into it based on its shape and the construction. We naturally get a swell in the middle of the bow stroke and a decay at the end from the lighter tip. This is something we want to use to our advantage and not fight against because Baroque composers were working with these idioms when they were composing. We're going to start with a basic scale just using a long bow stroke. We want to keep our fingers flexible and feel the transfer of weight between our fingers as we travel out in the bow. In Baroque playing, the down bow is typically stronger than the up bow as well, so you want to listen that your up bows don't sound as loud or as accented as your down bows. Once you feel comfortable with the basic down bow stroke, you can add in a dotted rhythm, like a dotted quarter with an eighth note, and play around with how you're going to articulate that eighth note to not accent it. In the dotted quarter note eighth note rhythm, the dotted quarter note is important, and the eighth note is just a pickup to the next note, so we don't want to overemphasize that eighth note by accenting or putting too much on the up bow. Even if we do a retake before doing the up bow, we should still be able to keep the emphasis on the down bow and the up bow just a gentle lead in to the down bow. So the up bow eighth note is going to be just a reflection of what we've already done in the down bow. try out some slurs. Slurs are naturally going to have a decay towards the end of the slur. But you're also going to be balancing the difference between the down bow and the up bow, making sure that the up bows still aren't stronger than the down bows, but that the beginning of a bow stroke is still stronger than the end of the last bow stroke. more on these bow strokes and other warm-ups that I like to do in future videos, but let me know what you thought and if you have any questions. It takes some getting used to to play on a Baroque instrument, to hold the bow and get used to the different weight, to understand different weights on different strings, especially the unwound open gut strings, and of course getting used to holding your cello without an end pin. So if you have any questions, leave them in the comments. Thanks so much for watching my mini lesson on Baroque cello and Baroque string playing. Be sure to subscribe for future videos and lessons.